Scott came and thought it was just going to be another nice. Saturday. He could just, you know, chat with customers and graft and that kind of thing. And we sort of hooked him into this tasting table. Uh, as you probably have noticed, he has eaten uh, noni before, and we have noni now. Uh, this, I just want to quickly show you. Uh, this is noni that was ready to pick, and then this is one that's ready to eat. It gets sort of a grayish cast to it, and it does have quite an aroma. So that's the one that I'm interested in getting Scott to taste because it occurred to me, I mean, Noni, of course, is a really um, sought after health, um, you know, like it's, it's, it's prized for its health benefits. There we go. And uh, unfortunately, the taste is a, something that a lot of people don't like. It takes a little getting used to, or else it taste, takes uh, being really, really hungry and afraid that you're gonna starve to death, then it fits the bill. Yeah. But as I was picking miracle fruit, which this is the only miracle fruit that were available right now, we usually we have more than that. I was wondering if you ate miracle fruit first, <laughs> <laughs> and then Noni, what you think of it? Hmm. Since you've had a long history with Noni, I mean, you, you, it's one of the ways you really like it is dehydrating it. Yeah, that's about the only way. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, this you know, miracle fruit is also um, prized for its health benefits, mostly uh, because uh, at least our customers are mm -hmm. buying miracle fruit plants because when they eat the berry, then they drink a lot of lemon water mm -hmm. and it's delicious and they're drinking the lemon water for health benefits so mm -hmm. uh, anyway it changes the way you taste and I thought miracle fruit and noni <laughs> it could be a magic it could be a thing it could be and a thing so yeah. I have I found only three and two of them are only partially ripe fortunately <laughs> the big fruit ah, is okay ready and okay so you know when you're uh, well, after you let that um, sort of simmer in your mouth for a little bit, um, if you could describe the flavor of Miracle Fruit itself, because you know, that is often a question we get. Uh, Miracle Fruit has a little bit of a flavor mm -hmm. on its own, very pleasant, mm -hmm. uh, but it is um, prized because it changes the way you taste other foods after you eat it. So, in every circumstance that I've heard so far about Miracle Fruit and other food, it's been a positive thing. Uh, and so, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know it's like, with, is it going to be a positive thing with Noni? It seems like it's going to have some... It couldn't effect. possibly make it worse. Yeah, so, <laughs> anyway, you have All right. you've gotten step one done. I've gotten step one and coated your your tongue with the, the miracle fruit. I, I hope so. Um, and the miracle fruit's very pleasant. It's it's slightly grape like to me. Um, very very sweet. Um, not a lot of fruit around the seed, but it's satisfying. It's a it's a nice little fruit, something to kind of nibble on. Um, Will it will it conquer well, the noni? Of I, <laughs> <laughs> will it conquer noni? We're not really sure, but we're gonna find out right about now. It doesn't conquer noni. <laughs> does it make it? It dented? does make it different, though, really different. Um, I didn't think it was possible that it would make it worse, <laughs> but it did. <laughs> it has accomplished the unaccomplishable. <laughs> it has actually, it is actually now a sweet cheesy <laughs> juicy weird thing it's it's 
Sweet and cheesy. It is, that's exactly, it's like eating a very, very sweet blue cheese, which is not right. <laughs> it's something it's not, that might have a following though. No, it's not, I mean, it's, it's very strange. Um, yeah, and that's about all I'm gonna eat of it. <laughs> um, it does make it sweet. It really, it's like no knee candy. Um, so also if there's a, a product that if there's a market, the market, yeah, yet. if there's a market for noni candy, we've just invented it here at Truly Tropical. Um, it certainly is a, a different taste because normally, I mean, normally when you eat noni, it's a savory thing to me. I don't get any sweetness out of it at all. So imagine having noni in a sugar bath, um, and. <laughs> All that goes with Again, that. it could have a following mm -hmm. out there. <laughs> Sorry, I have to get rid of the seeds. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the taste of noni itself, it isn't really that unpleasant. It's very much like a, a strong cheese. Um, I don't like the sweet component with the miracle fruit. I don't find that pleasant at all. But that's not to say that you shouldn't eat your noni, because you should. Um, it's, it's actually very good dried as croutons on salad, that kind of thing where you would expect a blue cheese flavor. Um, not sure whether you should try noni with miracle fruit. We'll if, you like, one, if you like right? noni candy, <laughs> absolutely. Um, if you'd like noni as a milkshake, perfect, because it really does sweeten it up. It's, it's very, very strange. <laughs> well, thank you very much for being the guinea pig du jour. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I think I'll go home and make a noni milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> no, no pie. Mm. That would be delicious. <laughs>